here, buddy. Now I'm going to give you my opinions on this crosscut paper shredder. This is an Omnitech brand 10 sheet crosscut paper and credit card shredder. It cannot officially shred CDs. I got this on clearance at Staples back in, I think, September. It was on clearance for like 20 bucks, and since I was working at Staples at the time, I got it for even cheaper than that because I was an, obviously because I was an associate. Easy Tech Associate. But anyways, um, I need I needed a you know it's a decent little shredder for shredding up junk mail and things like that once in a while, and for the most part it has seemed to serve its purpose very well. But 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 today I decided to shred up some old documents I had in my box, and I never really tried to see if this thing could do ten sheets of paper at a time. Now this shredding is typically for your standard standard paper, not you know, not really thick. And most and what I did is I took all the paper I needed to shred up and I counted out I think one or two stacks was actually ten sheets and the rest of them were like between um seven to nine sheets. I figured hey this thing could do ten sheets, so I'll go ahead and you know get through this stuff and get it done. So anyways, um, I did actually shoot some video of shredding with this thing. And <laughs> let me tell you guys, it's a decent little shredder for shredding like four or five sheets, but it can't do ten. Definitely can't do ten without literally burning. So here's the video footage, and I'll narrate the video. I'll be starting out this footage by shredding a credit card. As you can see, it had no issues at all with the credit card. Obviously, this insert into a little slot and it's no issue at all. And here you can see I am sorting out my pages. So let's go ahead and go on to the next clip. Okay, here we are to the next clip. As you can see, I have like a ton of pages to be shredded. Now watch this. Now this first this first stack is not that much, it's like I think three or four feet. Here comes the big one. Um not too bad, I think that was six or something like that. Um, as you can see it is there it jammed. It jammed up. On eight sheets or so. And as you can see it did not actually kick the breaker. No it didn't. My computer's power supply tripped for some reason. It didn't like the voltage from that. As you can see, I'm cycling this thing on and off to try to prevent it from burning it up or overheating it. And I'll explain more about, about that in a moment. <clears throat> I think that was 10 sheets or 8 sheets. I can't remember exactly for sure. I should have marked them. Here you can see I'm reversing it and everything else, trying to get it through. Okay, now I'm, I pulled the lid off. You can see the mess that it made. This, you know, all the shredding's just jammed up in the thing, and just <laughs> that explains why I didn't have too much of an issue starting out with the page. But you know, near the end of the stack, it just jammed up completely. It's like the paper was looping around and trying to get back into the mess again, and just jammed the thing up. So let's go and get this cleaned out. We'll move on to the next bit. Okay, here comes another stack. You can see it already jammed back up. That's because the paper is like going back around into the shredder again. 
trying to be careful not to not to overheat it. Try another stack. Okay, let's clear the rest of it out of there. As you know, I'm trying to be fair with this thing. I'm letting, you know, I'm giving it a chance to get the the previous bit out of there. But as you can see, it's just a it's just a big mess. It gets hung up in the bottom of the shredder, and it loops around the shredder cutting blades and goes right back into the top and it just jams the whole thing up. Now mind you, those those cutting blades are very sharp. Let's go ahead and try this again. Here's the next batch. Okay, here I'm moving again again I do believe. This may have been the time now. This may have been the only time I lube the page. Try to give it some lube. Yep, here's here's some lube. Yep, it took that up from. Okay, here's the big stack. That is probably ten sheets out there or nine. I don't know a problem. Here's the next stack, it's eh, not as good, but it handled it okay. But as you can see, the paper is getting, it's catching more and more settings at the bottom of the um, cutting blades, and it just, see how it's going okay there. And my hand's kind of blocking it. Already jammed it up. That is what I think is causing issue with this shredder, it's, the um, the shreddings are getting caught in the bottom of it and it's just circling them around over and over again and it just jams the whole thing up. It's like the shredder doesn't do a go good job of keeping um, its blades clean. And as you can see it just overheated. It's smoking. See the smoke? Look at that. Motor is smoking hot. As I mentioned I'll explain more about that in a moment. This is 10 sheets right here. Most of the amounts I've had in there were about 8 Wow, nine. look at the smoke. I think we're going to have more 10. This thing claims to be 10 sheets. But apparently it is not. Now that tells me there's another issue with this, with this unit. The thermal protection does not kick in until a little bit too late. officially overheated. Yep, look at that. I just now realized the smoke. It's amazing what you see when you go back and look at these videos again. Yeah, look at this. The motor in this unit is on the left-hand side. See that? That was smoke. And let me tell you, that, that side got pretty hot. <clears throat> that is not a 10 sheet shredder. Okay, let's try 5 sheets. It has cooled down and it's working again. Five more sheets. Okay, 
That was that was actual paper dust, not smoke. Now let's try out some miscellaneous stuff. that out of there. Let's look at all the mess that gets clogged up in there. Probably one of the reasons why it jams so easily. And as you can see the Omnitech 10 sheet shredder <laughs> is not a 10 sheet shredder. No, not going to happen. Unless you want it to overheat and actually smoke. But if you're going to shred like five or six sheets, it may be good for that. I find for when you're only shredding like sheets, six sheets at a time, it's fine. No problems at all. But that is not a 10 sheet shredder. So, anyways. That was my brutal test of the Omnitech 10 sheet shredder. Not sure the exact model number. Most of those stacks of papers I had on the table were um, 7 to 10 sheets apiece. Clearly, should be capable of being handled by this thing. But as you see, it jammed multiple times, and due to jamming, it overheated and actually smoked. So, I question, I question the safety features on this thing. As you saw, the lights went out. It didn't kick a breaker, but my computer PSU down there did not like it too much. The one that powers my lights. So anyways, thanks for watching.